Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Wow, some bad stuff went down last time. Sayaka's death and then Junko's immediately after. Well, I guess they're not the killers, unless Junko was they? and Monokuma killed her. <laughs> Sayaka, I'm thinking no, but whether or not Junko was, she's dead now, and I'll bet she wasn't, because otherwise... Then I mean, suspicion would still be here, the but there'd be no trial, you yeah. know? So let's check her out first before talking. I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. Fingerprints? Well, I touched her wrist to check for a pulse, like they do in the movies and stuff, but... But I have no idea what I'm looking for. And she has literally five spears, and I think more on the scene. She really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. <laughs> I don't know why you even bothered to check after those injuries and losing that much blood. Frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. You know, not gonna lie, I was thinking the same thing. I mean, come on, seriously. You are Byakuya. Yeah, I'm such an asshole. But he's so fun to voice! <laughs> he really is! And I bet you he doesn't have anything near what that accent is, but I don't care. <laughs> huh? Hold on. Hold on! J just wait a second! She's dead? Then that means... Yeah, spell's broken for this guy. That means everything that's happened so far is real? It's not a joke or whatever? It's really real? Hell no! Here. Someone save me! Let me out of here! Somebody help me! What's your problem? You're j just now accepting that? <laughs> that, that was a pretty delayed I think rip. you should talk to Kyoko last. That makes sense. She's in the front center. I'm honestly wondering if he killed her, like, if I can't have her, no one can, or some really twisted, like... But he doesn't like 3D. He doesn't, but he got pretty mad when I was talking to her, she was talking back to me. Hit Fumi? Uh, no, I'm the one asking. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I screwed that up for Royal. Makoto's like... now making fun of... <laughs> yeah, what a jerk. Hit Fumi? Um... Consciousness is crashed, restarting now, please wait a moment. You know, that reminds me of Batman Begins, like, sorry, the doctor's not in right now, but... Feel free to leave a message. That was actually a cool scene. I like that a lot. I can't, it's hard to see him. Uh, Remember, you can match him with the Yeah. There we go. Her. She must be so shocked she can't even open her mouth to talk. This music's amazing. And I love what how there are various do? gym balls just lying around. Someone got right in front of us. They... Oh. Now, Sakura. Come on, man! Let me out of here! Come on! Let me out! Wow. Ugh. We can't run away from this situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh my god. If we find out who did it, then only that person dies. But if we get it wrong... Even if we do catch that person and that person dies, yeah. now we're just, we're just back yeah. to square one with fewer people, you know? Mm -hmm. Then all the rest of us face execution. Oh, that's what that's what that ridiculous school regulation said, right? So stupid. Yes. But he has to call them because he's the lawman. Right. We need to hurry up and figure out who the culprit is. Are, are you so we're really gonna try and find out who did it? Yeah, I mean we don't want to all die. <laughs> right? Oh. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> so you finally noticed. What the crap? Huh? Noticed what? I was looking through the Monokuma file re we received, and I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? Yeah. She died in Makoto's dorm. Ah. What? What? She's right. Eh? Then could it be? All at once, everyone's gaze turns to me. Uh, hold on a second, you've got it all wrong. F for just one night, I, I I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. Y you expect us to b believe that? Just tell us the truth. The look in everyone's eyes had done a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier. The feeling of suspicion and fear had returned, in other words. You, you think I did it? He's not saying that, he was thinking it. You, you think... <laughs> Freaking Celeste. What the heck? I hate this, but still, we don't have a choice. We have to figure out who did it. Or else we're all dead. You know... <laughs> Relax. Nothing's been decided yet. <laughs> you ass! Oh man, my, my main man. 
Even if he did punch me. Huh? Is this really happening? Don't fuck Screw you. that piece of shit bear! The hell? Oh, the monitor. Hey. Before we start searching for Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about, the secu about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? Hmm. You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so no one can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. Well, in that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't. Like I didn't to... do it. Yeah, I'm telling you, <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> I don't like having to think anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Okay, then we can let Mono look after the scene. Or we can let two people. Lo yeah. Well, no, we can't just let leave him there alone. Yeah, what Why if he's the killer? It? Why the hell not? Stop talking. Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. Yeah. What? Fuck you! So then. Fine then. I'll stay there on guard duty as well. That way there's no problem. You're damn right there's no problem. Even Mondo would have trouble taking Unless her off. Unless she did it. <laughs> that is, that, that, that really is kind of the worst case scenario, because like, what are you going to do about it? But she seems so peaceful. On the other hand, though, it'll be like Clue. If she kills the person That's, watching yeah. her at guard duty, then we'll know who did it. But then the other <laughs> half of the pair will be dead! Mm -hmm. Two-player co-op base defense with the two of them? With their stats, are totally OP. Which is true. <laughs> since, we won't be a, since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. I'm still pretty freaked out, but it. I freaked out, but I'll try. I gotta say, the game's doing a really good job. Like, I really don't suspect anyone. Like, I, it's not even like, oh come on, it's gotta be that person. Mm. Like, I really have no idea. So then. Are we all done talking? Like, I would assume you're supposed to think some person like her or Celeste would do it because they're so cool about it. Mm. But like, that's too easy. And meanwhile, the other people are like really stuttering, so somebody's an amazing actor. The only people who kind of fall in the middle are like, Mondo. Like, he's mm. just like, whatever man, I, I don't know. We need to begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. And like, Leon, like maybe, I don't know. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. We'll have to collect clues to form a foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong... So... Well, do I really have to say any more? Perhaps you me. I'd rather you didn't, no. Also with this game, everyone pray for good luck. If you think you know who did it, that's great, but like you have to still go through the motions. Sure. And even if there's a clue well, that... Yeah, even if you know, they don't. Yeah, and then... Because the thing is, it's really not you coming to the decision. It's you convincing yeah, everyone, everyone else who did that's it. That's a pain So even ass. if you see a clue that's like, obviously it's someone, you have to still like figure out ways to convince them. Yep. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. I'll be going too. And just like Kyoko, he was gone before we realized no. it. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? He already forgot. I better head to the scene <laughs> of the crime. Yeah, this guy. Mm. Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it. Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a bitch did this is here right now, and they're thinking of destroying that evidence, they'd dead. better not let me find them. I'll skip the trial and cave their goddamn skull in myself. I'm serious. I will fuck them up. Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sakura ran off. You know, if he didn't do it, then yeah, he will. He'll totally well, ruin it. The thing is, though, if let's say the person did come and destroy the evidence and he caught him and he bashed his skull in, well, we already know he's that killer, That, so. that, that is true! <laughs> but, I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know? And we're gonna investigate a murder? However, man, I play, like, you know, all the Professor Layton and Phoenix Wright games, and I'm not a detective, it's fine. How do we even do something like that? Anyway... We don't really have to do anything in particular. We already know who killed Sakia, Sayaka. Asshole. What are you implying? This is it very was, suspicious. It was you. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. D don't come any c closer. Are you going to kill me next? So, um... Well, I guess it won't hurt to give it a shot. It's not for sure Matt Makoto's guilty yet. Um... That's true. We may as well at least check just to check. <laughs> Even if we wanted to, I c couldn't help investigate. Aww. Wait, why not? <sighs> I'm not good with b b blood. All it takes is one glimpse and I black what out. that blood oh, that's yeah. all the floor there. Plot hole. Oh, touche! Well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyway. Alright. 
I guess I better get going. With that Simpsons mouth. Yeah. Wait, don't go yet! You have to hear me out! But it was pointless. Everyone had already left. Wow, that's bad. That's so scary. And their parting looks at me had still been filled with suspicion. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they've got it all wrong. Honestly, though, I really was wondering why Sayaka didn't just do the two-person-per-room thing. Like, she, what, the switching was pretty bizarre. It really was. I don't know what was up with that. Unless someone put her up to it, but that seems also really, really weird. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will... Execution is... <sighs> execution. Execution! Electric chair! <laughs> Poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! You know, I wonder what the execution is. I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants! All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka? All I have to do... <laughs> Investigate. Oh crap. I guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got before. The victim was Sayaka Maizono. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow, I have to find out the truth so that we can all survive. And for Sayaka. I have to find out how she was killed. Nice! <laughs> That's your truth bullet. First truth bullet. Ah. So it's just objects or truth bullets. Okay. Or information. Oh. Monokuma file number one has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay. And so... So stuff I find will become my truth bullets? Yeah. Uh, so the more I investigate, the better? So if I go to Sayaka's room? You have to investigate everything. Like, All your right. time limit is basically once you investigate everything. Okay. So we're... Alright. Uh, no way! Seriously! I seriously don't want to die here! I'm begging you! God, Buddha, Mother Earth, God of Space, King Neptune, help me! God of Space? Hell yeah! I don't care who it is, just get me out of here! Hero doesn't seem prepared to do any kind of investigating right now. Aren't you gonna help investigate, Shihiro? Um, but I can't leave Junko here. I... I feel sorry for her. I... I have to stay with her. Okay. Well... Nothing else here. Yeah, I think we're done. I think really the only place you have to go this time is Sorry, your room. room. Your, my, my room. room. Yeah. I think. And talk to people. Probably yeah. talk to everyone. Alright, so only evidence gives me items. It's not like this stuff. Correct. Alright, so I can just get out of You only get truth, and you have to get every truth bullet before yeah. like, you go on, so. Alright, fair enough. And it tells you where to my go. My room. Yeah. yeah. So I guess I could just go. Oh, we're just gonna take ourselves there? I head to my room. We're Sakura. Not, not always Sarkis does corpse this. Made. And uh, the farther you get in the game, the more rooms that there's yeah, evidence in. Of course. So I'm gonna stay in my room a little closer. That might reveal something new. Examine it a little more closely. Oh yeah. God, no, yeah. no! I'll do the worst part first. Okay, I'll do this part first. See, so yeah, the struggle is out here. So like. She may not have died in the bathroom. Key on the grounds, my name, so this must be my room key. Hey, that's evidence in my favor, right? I didn't have my key. Mm -hmm. If I remember correctly... Ah, oh, that's right, we have to trade keys. When we switched rooms, we switched keys too, so Sayaka would have had the key here in my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true, then how did the killer get into the room in the first place? Could Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it or open it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something. No, that's not possible either. Sayaka was in here when we switched rooms, and without how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around, so she couldn't have dropped it. So how did the killer... Oh. Switching rooms has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. Yeah, you, you know... Let me finish. Okay, I'm gonna let you finish. <laughs> you know, there's a thought, though. 
what is up with my bathroom door? Like, it's just stuck. Is that really it? That's me. That's me. A part of the of the. Because they made a point of that, yeah. and it's like, what's up at the table? No, there's something back there. Oh, the swords holder. Display stand. The sword was on. Just nothing. Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? Hey, I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Hmm. Whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. Is that a hint of how the trial's gonna work? I don't know. I see. Oh, you're here. Kyoko? Hey, Kyoko? I quietly called her name while she was investigating in the area, but... What are you doing? That's my voice, I forgot. Isn't it obvious? Mm, no. Not really. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every Did inch of my room. Did you lose a contact or something? Yes! D Jeez! You- Wow! I hope I do lose this trial! <laughs> you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna lose it on purpose just so you can end the game? Yeah, you're a freaking imbecile! Anymore. I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. Yeah, I lost your contact at this crime scene, huh? God damn, what a moron! Alright, so... By the way... You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. Unless we did it too. You know, he mm. doesn't know about us. There's a trash room right here in the dorms, right? They could have stopped, tossed some stuff in there. Yeah, that's, oh, that's another room definitely possible. Yeah. yeah. You son of a bitch. That dirty bastard! Well, he went to Anyone who raises... dirty anymore. Yeah. Anyone who raises their hand to a woman is scum that deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. If that's true, then I'm going to be less suspicious of him for any female deaths from now on. You're fucking dead. So if I ever find this son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in. But, but what if it was a girl that did it? <laughs> Yo. That'll get all sorted out when the time comes. <laughs> That's amazing. I didn't even think about that. That's great. So, that thing? Everything. Ooh, I know, I'm seeing what there is to look at. What's gonna happen, too, is once you find everything in the room, it'll tell you... Was this in the attack? Oh, okay. And it's supposed to be taken out, so it's just a sheath, but... Huh? There's some scraps in the sheath. It must have been made with something sharp. But how did the sheath get scratched up in the first place? Even if someone used a sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if you're going to attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It could just slide off in the middle of the fight. So why are there scratches on the sheath? Nice! Replica sword sheath has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Well, this is going to be the same for everything. Yeah. The, the item has been added to yes. the truth bullet section. Oh, there's a key again? Yeah. Um, but once you find everything in the room, it'll tell you, like, okay, you yeah, gotta cool. find everything. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was using the attack somehow? And plus, it's been taken out of its sheath. I hadn't actually looked at the blade itself until now. I shouldn't be surprised it's coated in gold, too. On top of that, some of the gold coating has come off on parts of the blade and the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. I remember the coating sticks to you even if you just touch it a little bit. Okay. There's way less lint than there was before. Is that I can see how dirty my room was and decide to clean yeah, up a little? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you're probably right. You're an idiot. <laughs> I, seriously, this is hopeless. Notepad's still here, but I don't think it's relevant. And the windows, just because... And the walls. Yeah. The walls are still balls. here, I don't think it's... Okay. <laughs> Let me just keep on watching. The bed itself. There are gouges in the bed, like someone attacked it. What the hell happened here? Jesus. Uh, the drawer, maybe? Is that... Yeah, it is. The other, no, it's just the bed. No, the drawer. The drawer oh, okay. Drawer. This? Yeah. I don't think there's anything in there. Toolkit's still inside. Don't see any evidence it's been used at all. Which makes sense. I mean, it's mine, and I haven't had any reason to open it. I can't even imagine a situation where I need a toolkit like this. Yo. Yes, yeah, seriously. Oh, Mondo, oh, yeah. we ain't exactly Why? in the mood to be building fucking furniture, right? So you haven't used yours either, then? Why? Not just me, nobody's Why? busted theirs out yet, far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way... None of the guys have opened their toolkits yet, because, like, why the hell would we? Hmm... Okay... Scratches... Mm-hmm... 
There are scratches and gouges in my walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? Nah. Alright, must be some kind of fight in my room. Yeah, maybe that's what happened. <laughs> hey, I think Makoto's onto something here. Damn it, I was right there in the other room. Oh, they're soundproofed. Yep. Oh, man. Ah, if only I'd heard something. That would not have been possible. Huh? Hmm. Don't you remember? All our rooms are completely soundproof. So something could happen in the room right next to you, and there's no way you could know. Well, perhaps this was another of Monokuma's strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. Evidence of a struggle. What am I missing? Wait a minute. Oh, the floor, uh, the scratches on the floor. Oh, that, oh, tricky, tricky. There are scratches and gouges in my. Well, it says walls and bed oh, again, so. It's the same one. Mm -hmm. It's well, the same one. Yes. Uh, no! Behold. Oh, I can't. Yeah, whole circle. Yeah. Try the, uh, the door again to the bathroom. Yeah, maybe it'll work this time. Huh. Hmm. The wall. The. Gets Kyoko. Yeah, it's all the same. Try moving to all the way to the left. All the way, all, all the way to the right. Sorry. The garbage? No. no. Try moving all the way to the right. The sheet. This this way? Yeah. Sorry. And see if there's anything. Over. No. Like just leave. What am I missing? Talk to Kyoko again, maybe. I don't know. Huh. I don't know. We're just doing the whole same thing. What isn't it often? I'm. Jesus, you're an idiot. Listen. Are you oh. a clean freak? Yeah, she stood up straight and said, are you a clean freak? Huh? No, I don't think so, but what? Nodding, she glanced around my room one more time. See. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. Unusual? What do you mean? So... I searched your floor from one corner to another, and I didn't see... I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. The lint cleaner? You know, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it to... I see. Very interesting. ...cover their own hair for evidence? Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge? In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean? Was it Sayaka? Or the killer? Well... That's the question, isn't it? Ah, Makoto's room cleanliness. Okay, now, now I, think I can probably... It. The bathroom. And the other side of this door. I like the... The negative? The artsy style of the blood, too. How it's like pink. It's very pink? Yeah. No, I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Oof. Looking at her made it painfully clear it was not a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her... her. Sayaka. All at once I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up, I wanted to collapse, but that thought held me up and supported me. Oof. Only two things. Mm -hmm. This is the broken rest. I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but... But now is no time to think like that. I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object had been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where did they get it? That's definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's right wrist is broken. Oof. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. You notice something? Yeah, yellow, the gold. Yeah. But there's something sort of glittery on their wrist, too. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is... There's some blood in her left index finger, but that's it. The palms of her hands are totally spotless, so how come only her left finger? Sayaka's wrist has been added to the truth bullet. That is weird. I'm wondering what the blood could mean. I'm wondering if that's her blood. 
The stab wound in her stomach is what killed her, so when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd been killed? If she fell on it, but that seems unlikely. So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Sayaka in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly wound. I looked past Sayaka to the wall behind her, and there I saw... 11037. What?! Written in blood with the numbers. Did Sayaka do this? Okay, I'm, I'm trying to see if, like, all those numbers could potentially be letters, you know? Mm. I don't think so, though. Like, Leo... Like, I, I don't think it's happening. Mm -hmm. Did Sayaka do this? I think that's it in the room. That should be. Alright. Ugh. It would seem... <clears throat> Looks like you found her, right, Makoto? The bloody, the bloody numbers. numbers? That's most likely Saika's dying message. I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with life itself. Oh, her bloody finger, that's right. Right. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? <laughs> but the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037, I have no idea what they could possibly mean. So... The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. Yeah, I only really saw 37 or 037. Mm -hmm. if oh, she wrote, Leo! If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way we found her... Yeah, the, 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 the two ones! They aren't numbers, she was gonna write the N and it couldn't happen. It could be Leon! It means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand towards the wall. Must have written them. Yeah, so... I'm, I'm kind of miming the action, so... It, it, could, it could be Leon! It seems a little too obvious, it could be trying to frame someone, but you never know. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? The result? Wow. Think about it. You're not gonna tell me? Makoto. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain un unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not going to tell me. Totally. Dying message. It sounds like Kyoko knows what Sayaka's dying message means, but honestly, I have no idea. Oh! I know I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? I should probably talk to Toko instead, because she uses letters! But also, she doesn't like I don't care. There's one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? What? Gets stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door just doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. That's a lot of... Truth bullets. a lot of truth bullets. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? That's right. You didn't notice? Well, just try, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoko said and shut the bathroom door. Huh? The doorknob? And I'll explore the door. Um, yeah, it looks that way. But also... So then... No, I, I yeah. can't go back. Yeah. Alright, so... Well... What the heck? The doorknob is practically about to fall off! Why is it like this? It would seem... Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. But none of the boys open there is according to Mondo. Mm -hmm. Whatever it was, it's obvious this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? So... I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought, and then apparently struck with a sudden realization she shot a question at me. Just a second. I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um, well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is only you and Sayaka knew about it, right? Mm hmm, interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense that she was really starting to get into all this. I see. Then, that clears that up. Huh? What What clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. Ugh. As if forgetting I was ever even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. 
bathroom doorknob. I still don't really understand any of this, but I've already given my dorm a good once over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from. And also, I should look into the DVD. Oh boy, Sayaka guy. With Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks, if they'll even talk to me, that is.